As many of you guys know, we have been doing a Honk for Pink campaign where for every honk we get, we give one dollar toward finding a cure for cancer. This campaign has been a huge success. We have gotten such a big response from so many people. But as you can clearly see, this is making a huge difference. So in the midst of all this, a company by the name of Prime Lux contacted me, who among other things, produce emergency lighting. They have everything from switch panels, strobe lights, flood lights, fog lights, like they got it all. Well, I had an idea. With us doing this whole pink campaign and all, and it going so well, what if we were to install pink strobe lights all over the truck so that whenever we receive a honk, the truck lights up and flashes pink? Hmm? Only two problems. Nobody produces pink strobe lights that I can find. And two, it is illegal to run red tones of any kind in flashing lights on a vehicle in traffic. You cannot do that. You get in trouble. But what we can do is during truck shows, parades, and shippers and receivers, when we get home, and we get many of them in those places, I can hit a button and a truck is going to flash and light up in pink getting some more honks and helping us raise money to find a cure for cancer. It is about damn time. So I told Prime Lux about my idea and they were nice enough to send us two boxes, eight LED strobe lights in total to help us with the campaign. So I'm going to unbox the lights for you and show you what they sent. Once again, the company is called Prime Lux. You can find them on Amazon. I will include a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out they have a ton of lights so already like this 9 to 30 volt dc fuse 2 amp it's actually low amps but it's good to see that they have included an overview as well as the basic construction of the strobes so first of all ew wait do they they actually have little screws and everything for installation that's a huge plus. The housing is very durable. It feels and sounds like metal. It's like cold to the touch. I bet you that that's an actual metal housing. Honestly, it looks like a really good quality strobe light. And I was so excited to install these. So what's included in the package is four LED strobe lights per box, four protection pads, these little things, and installation screws, which is incredible. I decided the easiest way to wire this would be tie into the cigarette lighter power source by my gong. It would easily be able to handle the load on that circuit. Besides, it's run with a fuse. The fuse panel is right by the bunk, so it's easy to pop off and replace the fuse if it ever blows. What easier way to power my switch panel? So I simply cut off, snippity snip guys, the connector piece that goes to the back of the cigarette lighter plug and then strip the wires saved the connector because you never know when I want to change it out, sell the truck. I never want to sell this truck. You never know when I want the option of having the cigarette lighter back and I can rewire the plug, so I saved it. Got a huge shower spool. I got a mega size spool, almost as big as a mega pint. And I ran the power cord underneath the rubber mat and then tucked it safely with the other cord from behind the seat and back up into this little crack in the cubby hole where we tied into the electrical cigarette lighter. Yes, I do have wire loom coming and I will put it in so that any exposed wiring, all you'll see is a little line of wire loom and it'll all be nice, clean and cool. So now that we have power, it's time to test a strobe light. As you can see, the strobe works amazing. I'm so excited to install these on the outside of the truck. As I referenced before, the only challenge we have is these are clear. So how do we make it pink? Well, I had an idea. If you ever have a challenge, Amazon is the answer. No, Amazon didn't sponsor this video. But I went to Amazon and I found, yes, they make this. I found pink. I think they listed it as headlight tinting, which I'm pretty sure if it's this pink, it's illegal. However, I ordered a roll from a 3M sister company and what this stuff does is it simply peels off and it is sticky and can turn any lens pink. So now we only have one thing to do. Let's make these lights pink. <laughs> Can't see it as good in the camera. It definitely looks pink in person. You can see it in the reflection. 
Oh yeah, it's definitely pink. So what I'm doing now is making some cuts in the corners. There we go. Okay, I found something even better, and that is this utility knife. This knife will do just fine in trimming the edges off of our light. And the end result is one pink strobe light. That actually worked a lot better than I thought. We need to test this in the dark. Oh yeah, it works a lot better here in the back with lights off. I wish you guys could see the actual color tones because it's not coming out on camera very well. I definitely think double layering is the way to go because you have much more of a pink to you. All right, let's get these bad boys on the oh. So that reflects off of the chrome, amplifying the light. As you can see, we mounted one light on the fender. We have two on the grill, one on the side. It's all got stuck on me, but I do have one mounted under here. Once again, reflect off of the chrome. And then we have one on the cap fairy. And some wire wings to make it look nice. My thought in this, because you can't really see it from the outside, but my thought is, if it's mounted back here, it's gonna reflect off of the cap fairy. And what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna have the effect back here of it just glowing pink. Especially if you have a trailer hook to it, all you're gonna see is pink flashing on the back of the truck. All right, so all we have for you now is wait for it to get dark so you can test these lights out. Sleeping. 